How's it going guys, it's Poetry Stud here, and today I'm going to show you guys how to install mods for a Clash, bleh, not for a Clash of Kings, for Mountain Blade Warband. A Clash of Kings is going to be the mod that I'm going to show you how to install, but this works for any mod, um, and there's more you can do as well, but I'll make another, make that in another video probably. So, okay, so first we're going to start off with how to get the mods. You can go to, there's plenty of sites that like have mods, there's um, Nexus mods, there's a lot of different uh, sites that have mods, so I'm not really going to go into detail with how to actually download the mods, but you can go to nexusmods.com just to, for a whole bunch of uh, mods, just to give you guys a good idea of where to find them. So, but we're not going to go into that. Today, I'm going to be talking about how to install them. So, once you download them onto your computer, what you're going to do is you're going to pull them up. You might have to extract them or something, but you're going to pull them up um, wherever they download to, and I have it on my desktop right here, um, Clash of Kings. My background is Gurren Logon, by the way. It's pretty awesome, I know. But sorry if you can't see it. It's, I'll put it right up here. So what we're going to do is we have to find the folder where the mods are located. So first, we open up Documents or Computer, whatever you want to call it. Go to Main Drive C. It should be C. It might be different on some people's computers. I don't know. So don't look at my porn, by the way. I'm just kidding. Um, we're going to go down to Program Files times 86. Make sure you do times 86. This and by the way, this works for most computer for most Windows computers. I'm not sure about Macs, but for Windows at least, I'm pretty sure this works. So go to Steam. So that's it's a Steam game, you know. We're gonna go all the way down to the folders. We're gonna click Steam Apps. We're gonna go to Common, and we're gonna find the game. We're gonna go to Mountain Blade Warband. So once we're in Mountain Blade Warband, we are going to go to Modules, because that's what mods are. Here's all the modules I have installed, actually. And I actually had a Clash of Kings in this folder until I took it out for this video. So we're going to take a Clash of Kings, and we're going to drag it right in there. So it should copy. Make sure that you have everything it extracted first into a folder. Take that extracted folder and put it into the Mountain Blade Warband Modules folder. So real quick, I'll show you guys how to get there again. We go to Program Files, 80, or start at Main Drive, go to Program Files 86, go to Steam, go down to the bottom or the top, it doesn't matter, it could be different for you. you. Go to Steam Apps, Common, Mountain Blade Warband, Modules, and put the folder in here. So now, these are all of the games that I have, in, of the, all the mods in the folder. You should see native. If this is your first mod, you should only see native in there. Um, I've downloaded quite a few mods. So I'm going to show you guys how to open it when you start up the game as well. So, I don't know why it does that. So anyways, here we go. It's opening up. So now it shows Mountain Blade Warband, the launcher screen, you know. So under current module, you're going to click it down, and you're going to select whichever one it was that you put in here, and mine is right there. So you can actually delete it too. I did not know that, <laughs> but I'm not going to mess with that. So you can click on it, and if you go down to a Clash of Kings or whatever other mod it is, Diplomacy, Native, whatever, you can select which mod you want and play Mountain Blade, and it should open up correctly. If you have any issues, then I will try to help them. Just leave them in the comments. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. If you need any, I'm going to hopefully do another guide showing how to transfer save games from native to diplomacy, because I know that's something that you can do. So if you want to see that, then leave a comment in the description, and I will see you guys later. Please subscribe for more of these guides. I'm definitely going to be doing more. Um, it's been a while since my last one, which is about how to use OBS, and if you want to see that, go ahead and uh, click on a link I should leave somewhere. And until next time, I'll see you later, and give this a thumbs up if you liked it. Bye.